How do you find the length of sides and then use that to find perimeter and area when only given ordered pairs? In this lesson you will learn how to find the length of sides and then use that to find perimeter and area by comparing coordinates. Let's review. The x and y axis are represented by negative and positive numbers. So if we have our coordinate plane, we have our x-axis, which runs horizontally, our y-axis, which runs vertically, and then each of those are represented by negative and positive numbers. A common mistake is that it is sometimes forgotten that the x-axis is the first number in an ordered pair, and the y-axis is the second number in an ordered pair. So if we have 4, negative 3, the x-axis would be 4, and the y-axis would be negative 3. So we need to start by going right 4 on the x-axis. And then for negative 3, that means that we're going down 3 along the y-axis. So that star represents the location of our point. Find the length and width of the shape that's created by these ordered pairs. So we have 4, 1, 4, negative 4, and then negative 6, 1, and negative 6, negative 4. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to just look at our ordered pairs before we even try to plot anything out and see if we can see any relationship between any of the numbers. Now I see right away that I have some numbers that look very similar to one another. So for example, my x-axis coordinates I have 4 twice, and if I compare that with the second numbers, my second numbers are different there. So I have 1 and negative 4, and I can actually use that to find either my length or my width of my shape. So what's the difference between 1 and negative 4? If we had to figure out how far those are apart on a number line, what would that be? And in this case, we know that uh, 1 minus negative 4 would actually be 5. So our width is 5 units. I also see that I have 1 twice as my y-axis coordinate. And I also have negative 4 twice as well. So why don't we look at our x-axis and see if we can figure out what the difference is between those. So we have 4 and negative 6. And the distance between those on the number line would actually be 10. So our length is going to be 10 units. So why don't we actually check this on our coordinate plane and see if we can figure out if those are actually correct. So here we have our coordinate plane. We have our x-axis and our y-axis. and We want to actually plot these out. So uh, as we would plot these out, we would do 4, 1, so over 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 1. We would have 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We'd have negative 6, so we'd go over to the left 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 1. And then finally, we'd have negative 6, negative 4, so we would go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4. So once we would plot those, we would draw a line between each of those. And once we drew the lines, we would see that we start to get a shape in there and that shape would be a rectangle. So our length is indeed 10 units if we actually check it. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our width is 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then of course, since it's a rectangle, opposite sides will also be the same length. And then of course, you can use those measurements to find both your perimeter and your area. For our perimeter, we would just add all of them up. So our perimeter would be 10 plus 10, which is 20, plus 5, which is 25, plus another 5, which is 30. So our perimeter is 30 units. And then for our area, we would just multiply our length times our width. So we could do 10 times 5, which would then be 50 square units. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the length of sides and then use that to find perimeter and area by comparing coordinates.